Next, I will be showing you guys how to do the dramatic train. So for right now, my client only wants a 10 inch difference, but I'm gonna give you an example on to show you guys how to make your dramatic gown. So of course, you guys will take your circle skirt pattern and you'll place it on fold. So no matter what you guys do, remember your side seam center back must always be the same measurement as your side seam center front. So on my measurements, her center front was from knee to floor, it was 25. So of course you gotta do the side seam 25. So now we know that our side seams need to be the same. So I'm gonna measure 25 inches for her side seam. And this is just for this client. It changes all the time. And then I'm gonna mark where the 25 is. And this point down is center back. So this measurement will give you the length of how long you want your train to be. So right now I'm measuring from the knee to the floor. So if you want a dramatic train, you will go from the 25 inch mark side seam and you will bring it down all the way to the bottom if you want it to. But this client only wants a 10 inch difference, which is 30. So from me to floor, it's gonna be 30 inches. Now, if I wanted a dramatic train, I would go from knee and come all the way down. I won't even have to cut anything. I will actually just start from this bottom and this bottom is actually, so this will be a 53 inch train. I will start from the bottom hem and I will curve and cut all the way up until my side seam. And that will give you guys a dramatic train. You guys can't see me. And of course you'll cut the rest off. Also, normally when you start doing gowns, you will always use the same pattern. Always use your circle skirt for your trains. And now I'm gonna show you guys the difference in the length between center back and center front. You can see this is the center back and I'm gonna put the center front on top of it just so you can see the difference in the length. So see, everything's the same, side seam is the same, this is my center front, and as you guys can see, this is the center back, so it's much longer. If you guys want that dramatic train, you guys will just need to lengthen your center back and continue to go down, as I showed you in the video a little bit earlier. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sew the side seams together, I'm going to put in my horse hair, and I'm going to attach this baby to the dress from the part one video. And guys, we are officially done with making the bottom of this gown. As you guys can see, the front is shorter and the back is a bit longer. And here's a fast tip. What I did was I put a pin at the back. So just let me know what's the back and what's the front. Sometimes when you guys are sewing, you just, you know, forget certain things and you will actually sew the back onto the front if you're unsure of the measurements and if they look very similar in two length. So now we're gonna attach this to the waistband, not the waistband, I'm sorry, to the knee of the dress. Just to show you what it will look like when you guys sew it here together like that. And then your train will be, of course, very dramatic and very long. I'm gonna go ahead and sew it and then put it back on the mannequin and show you guys when it's finished. I also wanna show you guys a tip. I want you guys to place your garment on the back side so put your front on the floor and your back towards you and then right where we place that center back mark right here i want you guys to do the same thing on the floor so take your bottom of the train place it so it should be back to back and then you guys are going to flip your 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 back over and then you will pull your base through and you guys will mark side seam to side seam 
and side seam to side seam so you guys can just know and all this extra fabric here don't worry about that it's fine because you guys are going to gather it together and it's going to form small 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 gathers I shouldn't even say gathers because once you sew you're not going to even see the gathers it's going to make the skirt more full and it's going to be more movable and more comfortable so let me go ahead and sew it and you guys are going to see what i mean but i will be right back and i will show you guys what the bottom will look like once i'm done sewing it okay <laughs> 